Hey everybody, welcome to We Meet Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate all of you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, come on in. I figure I will pull some messages from the person that's got you on their mind. Oh wow, as soon as we get here, I'll never forget you. I played this all wrong. Childhood wounds is here. This person has issues from the past. And they want you to unblock them. Unblock me is here. No one compares to you. I judged you. And I didn't value what I had. So somebody is, looks like they are deep in their feelings. Um, misjudged the whole situation. Didn't know what they had with you. I don't think we're going to use this deck. I think we're going to use this deck. Um, this seems like, this could be somebody, could be from old old deep past or this could be somebody recent um and when i say recent sometime in 20 this year you know what i mean um whoever this is they played it all wrong something about their childhood and came up and you triggered something in them is what it looks like but nobody compares to you they've tried because they judged you judgment is here they tried to judge you and compare you to others but they can't you are one of a kind the real mccoy so um, they know they played this all wrong. Judgment is here. This person is truly looking at their life. They're looking at themselves, the energy that they put out there. They're really looking at it. Um, they're having an awakening of some sense of some sort, um, trying to live in their higher self. You remind them of when they did. I just don't know how this person played it wrong, especially with childhood wounds. There's something about you reminding them to be in their higher self how to deal with things. Um, the Hierophant, they learned from you. You were the part, you were their teacher. Like this person, they can't deny that you made them grow the fuck up. Like they can't deny it. It's right here. You made them grow up. So it's weird too, because they want you to unblock them. So it's like, they want to be able to <laughs> celebrate the new you the new them new year new me shit they want to be able to explain to you that they're not who they used to be is what i'm trying to say um but especially with the hierophant being here this is somebody that was deep rooted in your life some kind of way um high level commitment here but you are the teacher to them um this person wouldn't have become a better person without you without the love that you gave with this two of cups um at some point the two of you were very much in love so I guess spirit is saying never question that about the situation, but everybody has free will. So you, you have no control over how things ended. No one compares to you. This person is still holding on. They are holding on to you for dear life. Um, almost obsessively, you seem like they think of you as their property, whoever this is. Um, the love they have for you is becoming very obsessive and it's almost like they're trying to strategically figure out how to get back to you. Um, this person is very controlling. They feel like they control you. Like they are a king, whoever this is. They feel like, like damn near like you beating on your chest. Like this is a very masculine energy, whoever this is. Like they want what they want when they want it. And I really feel like this person just. They didn't understand, it's something, especially with childhood wounds being here, they didn't understand the amount of love that they had for you. It damn near scared them. Um, they didn't understand how to build with you. What's crazy is, what's faded is they asked for you. This person prayed for you. They asked for someone like you and they couldn't handle it. It's something about um, you challenged them. Uh, that's because childhood wounds is just staring at me. You challenge them. You challenge things that they thought they knew as a kid, the things that they thought they understood. Maybe this person um, had to raise themselves. It's something here about like abandonment of some sort. Um, you taught them family. You taught them unconditional love and being a part of something higher than they had, had ever experienced. So like being with you brought on tradition. It brought on... Um, a different way of life. This person just played it wrong. 
with the things they didn't understand. They like again, they didn't understand how to build this with you. They had to change the awakening that this person is having now. They were supposed to have it during a relationship. What caused what what's what's the childhood wounds and why this person did whatever's going on here? Because something happened. The devil. Okay, because the devil's here. Addictions, toxic behavior. Um, This is what they saw. This is something that this person saw a lot of toxic karmic shit when they were a kid. That's the best way to explain this. Um, even in a home, what they probably, not probably, this person may have grown up in a broken home of some sort. Um, you taught them that there's more to life than that, but the addictions is here and it's like, a toxic bond is what this person is used to creating. They're used to having trauma bonds with people rather than unconditional love. Like you were bringing on something that they never experienced or even knew what to do with. It's almost too like this person knew the moment you caught on to the lies and the addictive things that they were doing. I really feel like this person may have been addicted to sexual behavior or just addicted to cheating, addicted to liquor, addicted to weed, addicted to something. This person was doing something in excess that was causing everything to crumble. The seven of swords, the sun and the tower. Um, they tried to do everything they could so it didn't end. Um, but they knew the moment that you took the sun away, the world ended. You were the sun here. You gave this person meaning and it's, it's, I mean, damn, it's weird because the way that they behaved in a relationship, you would never think that they held you that high. Um, but they did this like you, you were the center of their world and they was going to lie and cheat and do anything they could to stop you from finding something out. Uh, but it was inevitable. There was nothing, there was nothing that they could do. Um, let me go more into the seven of swords. It's kind of an element too, like this person could have been a user to you, um, especially with you coming up as a star and the things that you're able to manifest, the things you're able to do for yourself. Um, you, you kept a lot of things alive. I really feel like this person was trying to profit off of you as well. Like you were the best, you, you were somebody that they could build with somebody that, of course, you're, you're an abundant being. You're somebody that can do what you got to do. You're going to make sure you got what you need. But it was something, it was a different element there where instead of this person putting in as much as you were putting in, they were trying to take from you and it, like take your resources, stop you from having resources. Here you are as a star, as a sense of jealousy here. This person was jealous of you as well. Um, deliberately doing things behind your back to kind of like rebel against you. Like this is something about this person feels like you have everything that you want out of life, you know, and they kind of low key are envious of it. Let's playing the star magician and the chariot. This is a weird, yeah, it's you. It's you. It's all the abundance that comes to you. It's all the opportunity that comes to you. It's the fact that you're not afraid to take a chance on yourself. It's it's the fact that you have self-love. It's the fact that you are willing to walk away from something that no longer serves you. It's Ace of Cups being here. You're still, you know what? They're, they are so afraid of you moving on too with this Ace of Cups. Um, they want you to shelter yourself and not even, not even give to love, not even pay attention, not even see the blessing in love. Like just know that this person did this to you so you should never want love again. Let's go into these. What, what's going on with this this here? Because this is, um, I don't know, the kind of, it's really narcissistic is the word. Extremely narcissist, narcissistic. Um, this person just, if you have more than them, they don't like it. Uh, but at the same time, it's the, yeah, choices. If you have more choices than them, they do not like it. This person's love is very fickle. It's like if you're down and out, 
they love you to death, but the moment you're okay and you don't need them, they don't want, they, they kind of treat you as an enemy. There's a weirdness here. It's like a balance needs to be had when it comes to that. This person could, they need to balance the way that they love, balance the choices that they make. It's just a, something, this, this person's energy is fucking weird. It's like one minute they act like they love you. The next minute you're all enemies, mortal enemies. Like. It's, it's no in between here. Here you are as the empress at the bottom of the deck, making something out of nothing always, of seeing the abundance in everything. You are the creator. And it's like they just do not like the role that you're in. It's some, it attracts them to you. They love the fact that you can do these things on your own and you're very abundant and you bring opportunity to you, but at the same time, they're, they're envious of it because they can't do it for themselves. And they know their love will be a burden on you. That was, I, I don't, I, I kind of, I don't know. I'm kind of want to get off of this person's energy here because their, their shit is kind of crazy. The higher fence here again. You're so, at the end of the day, you've, you've learned so many lessons from this. Um, they were there. There's no getting around it. Being with you is, it's a higher level commitment. Like you're not. You're not somebody that's watered down. You're not somebody that you could even put in that category. I don't know why this person felt that they could. Why the Hierophant? You're kind of, you, you know, it's, it's like you're slowly releasing a lot of people, especially with the new year coming up. That could be the reason. You're not communicating with a couple of people here. Um could be a karmic female as well. This could be a family member. It's, some, it's just things that you are detaching yourself from that just no longer serve you. Um, it's you walking away. The tower right behind it. You're ending something. And it's causing people to really look at themselves. Um, you're no longer just... You're, it's like you're not waiting for people's approval anymore. You're not waiting for people to tell you good job. You're not waiting for people to say, yeah, you need to go. You're just doing whatever you're trying to do. Wow, I didn't expect that to pop out like that. Like, you are doing what you want to do. It's funny how that popped out. <laughs> like, Ace of Wands, Three of Swords in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. Um, you have put your heart back together, damn near. Um, you've released this. This third-party shit, this deep down and just dirty kind of like love how somebody can just fuck you over in that way you've released it like honestly you've released it ace of wands being here you know there's a new opportunity you know what i really feel like you are willing to go towards love um and it's really bothering people because they they know you again you are a high level commitment so the moment you move on it's a fucking wrap there is someone here that does see you and that does want to build and plant seeds with you. Um, they see you as somebody that is holding it down, put it that way. And they've seen you um, go through betrayal. Who is this for you? This is somebody that's literally seen you. So this is two people. This is someone, this is new energy around you that sees you and wants to build with you. Um, especially look with you coming up uh, as a queen of swords and a queen of wands, like your mind is sharp and you're creating things on top of that. Um, but there's somebody else here that's just holding on. They're holding on to you. This is, it could be this person. It could be a past person from them, from them. Um, but somebody's holding on, feeling like you betrayed them. Like this person has a reckless mindset. They're, they're not in their heart at all. It's like this person is somebody that you... I want to say that feels like they got to outsmart you some kind of fucking way. Like who are, this is like an energy of somebody that's always thinking about you. They're always trying to figure out how to get you back, whoever this is, and not get you back in a good way. They see you've even forgiven them. Like you don't even hold on to them. This is some, this is old, old. This could be. This could be like an ex-husband, an ex from childhood, an ex. This this feels like, especially, especially with this hair being gray, like this is somebody that you've seen throughout the years. Um, why are they here?
they don't want to see you happy either. Like, they don't want to see you moved on and happy. Um, damn, they really don't. Why is this person even confessing this? Why? Because they lost you. You know, it's crazy. You got people really, two of cups at the bottom of the deck. You got people really sitting here seeking the truth about themselves. Like, page of swords. People are really trying to realize a truth about themselves. Like, how, why didn't I let, why didn't I make that work? Why didn't I put in more effort? Like, you got a couple of exes really sitting here thinking about how they fucked this up. And it's not to say that you're perfect and you didn't have your flaws and the things that you bring into the relationship that could have been childhood wounds of your own. But it's like each time you were loyal, each time you wholeheartedly love these people, each time you gave these people your heart. And now they're seeing nobody else did that but you. And some of them are able to, actually nobody is. I was going to say they, some of them are able to process it, but even this one, no, if, if you're not with them, they hate you. This one, they don't want to see you happy. Who's, who's this other person here? This newer energy here that's strategically trying to get to you. Who is this? Because these other people are, they have some issues when it comes to you. It's, Lord. All right. So it's somebody that I guess in a way you, you, you're kind of like in the dark about, you don't really look at this person in that way. It, that's could, that could be the reason. Um, but they desire you in a lot of ways. They like your mind. They love your mind and they love your body. It's something there that you give even give and take on everything when it comes to that. Like this person looks at you as like the perfect package, if that makes any sense. The moon is here. Um, you, what you don't understand, this, this person's cards came out the same way. They want to build with you. You may not even like, okay, so it could be like just... If you know who this is, you may not be taking them seriously right now because you're just not in that mindset. Um, if you don't know who this is, this is someone that, oh, wow, this is someone that spirit sends to you for help, like intuitively something. This is somebody that is supposed to help you some kind of way, okay? You don't know why they came. You don't know why they were here. That's why. Um, it is the least person you are expecting. It's like, it's almost damn near like a pleasant surprise, but it's weird because you have to change your mindset and this person is not what you're used to. They're not your conventional person, um, but this person is healed um, and they're looking, they're, this person is desiring different things. They're not desiring a thing like you may be older than them, they may be younger than you, or you may be younger than them, but there's something here of a level of maturity that's changed. This could be somebody from the past, but the last time you had an interaction with them has been a while. So you kind of, you you some kind of way, spirit is aligning the two of you. And it's during a time when you need help. Um, it's during a time when you're needing assistance. I, mean, I don't want to say help, assistance. You need an assistance. Um, and intuitively when they come around, you know why they're there. They're there to help you. And you're like, oh, okay, universe sent me some help. But you're not realizing universe sent you a little bit more than help. This is, this is somebody that you take a chance on them. You will be pleasantly surprised with who this is. Because this is, you will be blocking this now. Um, you know, be careful how long you wait for it's not even, how do I say this? It's like waiting for the one. And so because this person is not checking a certain box, they're not necessarily making, igniting something in you. It's something about this, like a passion that needs to be ignited in you for you to go towards it. But with the devil being here, it's almost like spirit saying, be careful because like you're so into what you're doing. You're so into, um, you know, when you could just be a little too healed, <laughs> like you're so healed right now that you just like, everybody just is not giving right now. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. Look up 
for a little while. Just look up and see what's going on. Just give this, give a person a chance. Um, and if it doesn't work, trust me, you're, you're healed enough to be able to move on quickly from this shit. It wouldn't be something that you wouldn't be able to. But this person comes up as somebody that wants to build with you. They see you as a higher level commitment. They do, this person does not want to fuck around, okay? This person wants to be in a relationship with you. This is not somebody that, um, it's, it, it's not an energy that's coming off like this person wants to play games with you. I don't, I don't feel like this is a game player. Keep an open mind. Um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Attraction is here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So go back to allowing love in. Allow the love in. You know, um, this person wants to love you really hard. Trust the situation. Like, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith in love. Don't let these people take away your faith in love. Like, you better keep your faith in love. Keep it. Damn, I'm trying to put the deck down, but it's saying worth waiting for. Divine timing is a work. It, sorry, divine timing is at work in your love life. Um, get to know each other and wedding at the bottom of the deck. Like this could be the one romantic feelings, true love. Come on, y'all. You gonna have to give this person a chance, honey. Like for real, give them a chance. Let me get an affirmation and um, get you guys up out of here because. Ugh, those exes, they be the doozies. But it's all about what you've learned. And trust me, you have taught people lessons. They are looking at themselves, kicking themselves. Like, how did I get this right? Have faith. Have faith when it comes to your love life. Have faith, period. And speak up for yourself. This time around, you will get what you want. So you don't have to have a facade up. You don't have to do any of that. You won't even be too outspoken. Just speak up when it comes to this person. They dig you. Like, they, 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 they get it. Face your adversities head on. And strengthen your gifts. All right? Um, choose your friends wisely at the bottom of the deck. So when this person comes along, give them a chance. I mean, it, it's here. It's, I can't say it enough. This person looks at you as the real deal and this could be true love they have romantic feelings for you this could be the one is here it's just a lot of love oozing from this person trying to explain to you how they feel so they just want you to trust the situation so keep an open mind all right all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to like share and subscribe and i see you guys on the next one thanks